Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On March 9th, Kyungi Province opened a consultation center for residents who face COVID-19 related disputes with service providers such as wedding halls and travel agents. To be operated temporarily until the end of April, this center will help applicants with the settlement of disputes relating to service reservations through arbitration. Known as the COVID-19 Consumer Relief Center, it can be reached by calling 1372. Accepted applicants will be assisted by specialists, including lawyers, throughout the arbitration process. With the COVID-19 outbreak spreading from isolated individuals to local communities in Korea, especially through hospitals and religious gatherings, the Kyunghee Province COVID-19 response team held its second regular briefing on March 9th. During the briefing, a COVID-19 response team representative outlined the infection situation at Bundang Jaeseng Hospital in Sungnam City. After completing tests on all inpatients, personnel, caretakers and contracted workers at the hospital, 13 individuals were confirmed as infected. These individuals were known to have contacted 517 persons collectively. As of 12 a.m. on March 9th, there are 151 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Gyeonggi, of which 23 had been discharged, while 127 were still being treated in isolation. A total of 238 beds have been secured for COVID-19 patients at designated hospitals and public hospitals in Gyeonggi, of which 93 are currently available. There were also 17 patients who were transferred to Gyeonggi from the Daegu metropolitan area. During the briefing, the Joint Chief of the Response Team confirmed that the outbreak has entered the local community transmission phase in the province and urged the public to change modes of religious worship. He also affirmed that the team is working continuously with related organizations, citing discussions it has held with 10 general hospitals in the province regarding treatment of serious cases, security of beds, and the operation of treatment centers. With the COVID-19 outbreak continuing for more than 50 days, members and personnel of the Kyunghee Provincial Assembly voluntarily raised funds to help Daegu City residents overcome the crisis. Responding to a proposal made at an emergency response meeting of the Kyunghee Provincial Assembly, all 141 members and 253 personnel of the Assembly voluntarily participated in this fundraising initiative through unanimous agreement. A representative of the Emergency Response Headquarters of the Kyunghee Provincial Assembly explained that this fundraising initiative reflects a desire for solidarity in overcoming the national crisis. Hana 31개 시군 등이 자발적으로 모금 운동을 전개하고 국난 극복에 참여하는 계기를 계기가 되기를 기원합니다. The collected funds, which amounted to 13,350,000 Korean won, were delivered to the Kyunghee branch of the Korean Red Cross and will be used for Daegu city residents and working class people in Kyunghee province.
The Kyungi Provincial Assembly is also engaging in various activities through its emergency response headquarters to help minimize suffering stemming from COVID-19. Kyungi Province established drive-through COVID-19 testing centers to improve efficiency in disease control by enabling people to be tested quickly and safely while in their own vehicles. With the COVID-19 outbreak persisting and the number of persons wishing to be tested increasing in Korea, Kyungi Province has introduced an innovative testing system. These testing centers will work in a manner similar to the drive-through services offered by fast food restaurants. These centers will be able to perform all testing procedures from oral inquiry to sample collection and disinfection while the individuals who wish to be tested remain in their vehicles. At the drive-through testing centers, testing procedures can be completed in 15 minutes instead of the hour usually required at medical institutes. This system also reduces infection risk for medical staff as well as cross-infection risk. The drive-through testing centers, which can perform swift and safe COVID-19 tests, began full operation at a southern site and a northern site in Kyungi Province. 검사는 의심환자가 차를 타고 일방통행 동선에 따라 이동하면 의사, 간호사 등 의료진이 신원 확인 및 문진, 검체 채취, 안내문 및 약품을 배포하는 순서로 진행되게 됩니다. Operating in parking lots of the Suwon World Cup Stadium and the North Kyungi Provincial Government Complex from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., these testing centers consist of 10 stations, including negative pressure equipment. Those who wish to be tested must make reservations in advance by calling the Kyungi Province Call Center. On March 11th, the Kyungi Province COVID-19 response team held its regularly scheduled briefing and disclosed the appearance of new cases as well as provincial response measures. A GTV reporter attended the briefing. As of 12 a.m. of March 11th, there were 174 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Kyungi Province, an increase of 12 over the previous day. Of these, 26 individuals were discharged from the hospital, while 147 were being treated in isolation. While group infection at a call center in Seoul raised concern among local residents, it was revealed that 45 residents of Kyungi Province had been in contact with related individuals. During the briefing, Kyungi Province disclosed response measures in connection with this group infection. The province plans to establish a Kyungi-style treatment center for mild cases. This center will concentrate on helping affected individuals return to their daily lives. Kyungi Province also disclosed that it is proactively pursuing the preventive cohort isolation of vulnerable groups, including seniors and those with disabilities, at more than 1,800 facilities. In addition, Kyungi Province plans to establish a COVID-19 quarantine support team comprised of medical and related specialists to deal more assertively with those who refuse to comply with provincial quarantine measures. GTV will continue to follow the regular COVID-19 briefing held every Monday, Wednesday and Friday regarding daily occurrences and provincial response measures. With Korea seriously impacted by the COVID-19 outbreak, people are reluctant to leave their homes. However, GTV recommends Gwangnung Forest, a biosphere reserve designated by UNESCO 10 years ago, as a getaway destination at which to enjoy nature and clean air. With its biodiversity regarded as being among the greatest in Korea, Gwangnung Forest is home to a number of rare plant and animal species, including the indigenous lady slipper, woodpecker, longhorn beetle, and flying squirrel.
This forest was designated as a biosphere reserve by UNESCO in June 2010. 저는 유네스코 세계 생물권 보전 지역 중 하나인 광릉 수목원에 나와 있습니다. 지금 전나무 숲길을 걷고 있는데요. 이 전나무 숲은 90년 이상 된 나무들입니다. 이 나무에서 나오는 피톤치드는 긴장을 완화해 건강에 아주 좋습니다. 광릉 forest is popular among people of all ages. 공기도 상쾌하고 시원해요. These visitors look refreshed after walking through the forest. 여기 오면 그 나무의 그 향기가 몸으로 다 스며드는 것 같아서 너무 좋아요. 그리고 살아 있다는 게 이렇게 숨쉴수 있다는 게 오늘은 또더 평온해 보이네요. On the 10th anniversary of Biosphere Reserve designation, Gyeonggi Province will begin operation of the Gwangneung Forest Management Task Force to systematically oversee the forest since it will now be subject to regular evaluations. 네, 어린 학생들에 대한 어떤 교육 프로그램 등을 많이 운영을 해서 어떤 홍보하고 또 지역 주민들이 그이 생물권 보존 지역 안에 살고 있다는 것을 것에 대한 자부심을 가질 수 있도록 그런 노력을 할 것입니다. Gyeonggi Province is currently receiving public suggestions for the name of a four-kilometer-long trail around Gwangneung Forest. Applications are being received via the Voice of Gyeonggi-do website until March 29th. With the COVID-19 outbreak, Koreans are experiencing great difficulties in purchasing masks. During his visit to a mask factory, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung stated that he seeks to supply masks to the public free of charge with the cost borne by the province when related requirements, including KFDA approval, are cleared. On the first day of the designated mask purchasing day by age system, few people could purchase masks since they sold out early. Most pharmacies already display signs indicating that they have sold out of masks. At a pharmacy in a less populated area, masks sold out early. Those who visited in the afternoon had to be turned away. Seeking to address the mask shortage, Governor Lee visited a mask factory in Ansung City. Governor Lee discussed ways in which to increase mask production with the manufacturer. He proposed using diverse types of filters in the masks, as well as producing masks without filters, as a solution to existing filter shortages. Governor Lee also revealed that he will pursue the purchase of large quantities of masks for free supply to the public through the settlement of necessary procedures, including KFDA approval. During his visit to the mask factory, Governor Lee also offered his assurances for regulatory mitigation of factory expansion, as well as for other support, including manpower supply. This also means that Gyeonggi Province is prepared to utilize whatever administrative power is required to increase mask production. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.